Hi Panthers, it's Mrs. Presnell and Hardy again. We're back to show you another tie-dye activity for your tie-dye week. Uh, we have our other tie-dye shirts on today, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we, this is how you make the tie-dye butterfly. Um, it's real simple. Um, I have on there lots of different materials. We chose to do the paper towels because we thought that would be something that probably everybody has in their house. Uh, so paper towels, food coloring, um, you need some sort of way to make your butterfly. So you could do a clothespin, a paper clip, a piece of string, um, and we'll show you that in a minute. So okay. first thing we're going to do is put some food coloring in our... I'll do red. You're going to do red? Okay. Um, you need some water in the bowl. Um, you don't need a lot of water, but I do at least like 10 drops. I do, oh. I do a little uh, over 10 drops. Oh. He does it for 10 drops. Okay. Over 12 drops. Alright, that's probably good. That's probably good though. You don't want to go too crazy. Yeah. I'm going to save some food coloring for the other activities we have. I use a lot of food coloring for hey, all these tie-dye activities. It works really well. Alright, and then and mine just looks like this. Just food coloring from the grocery store. Okay. So, um, if you have a little spoon, you can. I just give them a little swirl so they can mix up in the water. Okay, so after you have your dye ready, um, that's for later. This is what you squeeze the paper yeah, towel. Yeah, we're going to squeeze it out. So I'm going to teach Hardy, we're going to teach you how to fold this. Yeah. Um, so first thing that we do um, mm -hmm. is we're going to fold it in half the long way, like you would like a hot dog bun. So we're going to fold <laughs> it in half this way. Is that silly? Hot dog bun. <laughs> All right. Fold it in half. Okay. Big hot dog bun. And then we're actually going to fold it in half again that same way. So nice and long. You'll end up with like a skinny, long skinny rectangle. Good job. So it looks like this. A long skinny rectangle. Okay. And then this time we're going to fold it in half this way. Right. So it will be a big, long skinny and then it will get shorter. So we're going to fold it. That's good. Hardy he puts his finger here. And then that helps fold the paper towel. Right? And then we're going to fold it in half again. So, see how Heidi and I put our finger there? It helps fold it. And then you don't really squish it down. you got to fold it in half one more time. So it gets very tiny. This is how tiny it is right now. Um, this one you might need to hold it up and make two hands and kind of bend. Just kind of bend it in half. Got it? There. And this one you kind of have to really smush it down. Right? So you end up with a tiny little square rectangle. So, um, I need help, Mama. Oh, okay. You hold mine. Okay. There we go. So there's Hardy's. So um, you are going to then dip each corner. So there's one, two, three, four corners. I'm going to dip each corner in a color and you'll notice the, the dye will kind of soak it up. So Hardy will show you. Show his. Yeah, see how really... So um, then you have to pick a different corner. So I'm going to start with red too. So I dipped it down and let it kind of soak up. And then I'm going to turn it and dip it in the yellow. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it. It's okay if the colors mix. You want it to mix. And I'm going to dip this corner. And then you pick. I'm going to do blue again. I'm going to turn it and then dip. So I dipped each corner in a color. Are yours all dipped? Okay. So now this is where, hold on, let me scooch it in the, this is where it's going to be really soaked. So um, this is where you kind of have to squeeze it out because paper towels really soak up the dye. So it doesn't take forever to dry. All right. Did you squeeze it out? I like folded it again. So this so is just extra. Stop. So then we're going to unfold our paper towels and see what they look like. And the reason why I picked um, blue and yellow and red is because they're primary colors. And we know primary colors mix and make other colors. So you can actually make, you'll be able to see the other colors. Like... We made green, and we made orange, and we made purple. So we made all the secondary colors. So primary colors will mix to make secondary colors. So 
Look at mine. I know, that's cool. So there's this one. And look at Hardy's there. Let me help you with the last part. Oh, yeah. It's got one more fold. Oh, yeah. There we go. You have to be real gentle because they're paper towels. So. So wet. this is what they look like. They're wet. So the next step is you do have to let these dry. So if it's a nice day out, I would set them out in the sun. Um, we actually cheated a little. We let them dry a little bit outside, but um, we wanted them to dry quicker. So we brought them in. And what did we use to dry them? A blow dryer. <laughs> yeah, we used a blow dryer. So if you want to use a blow dryer to dry them, you can. It actually works pretty well. So here are our dried ones. There they are. Which one do you want to make your butterfly out of? That one? So, um, they're nice and dry, which is good because they're a little stiffer. You need it for your butterfly. Um, so, here's the deal with the butterfly. I want um, to use the paper for that. The clothespin? Okay. So, um, you can I make your butterfly you two ways. If you want to do the accordion fold first on your paper towel, so you fold to the front, and then you fold to the back. And then you fold to the front, and then to the back. Um, you can actually make kind of like a paper fan almost. Um, that might be a good way f to a butterfly because then I can put my paper clip right here in the center. Now, if we were at school, Mrs. Presnell would have you use a, um, a pipe cleaner. And I even checked, I checked everywhere in my house and I couldn't find a pipe cleaner. So, um, so pipe cleaners are, would be good because then you could make little antenna. Um, but if you want, you can um, try to find another material in your house to make an antenna. So um, there's my little butterfly. You could even attach a string to it if you wanted to hang it. Um, you could make it that way. So Hardy's got the clothespin. He, I'm just going to have him gather the center. So I want you to pull it, scrunch it down in the center. Keep scrunching. There you go. See how he just kind of scrunched it? And then you or you can have a, an adult help you with the clothespin. You just kind of pinch it there in the middle. Yeah. Right? And then there's your butterfly's wings. Um, these are fun too. You could even draw little eyes on your, um, your clothespin if you have one and that's what you use. Um, for the string, if you wanted to hang it, you could just tuck the string under the, the clothespin there. And you could, even, you could even hang these if you wanted. And you can also make a puppet show out of it. Uh, you could. You could do a little puppet show. So that's how you make a butterfly out of tie-dye paper towels, right? Can you say bye? And <laughs> bye, butterfly. Bye-bye. Have fun making these.